2.19 p.m. Sam Ham's in my house. Year of 2018. Sam walked over Bird to the couch right in front of the TV and sat down next to me. It wasn't really on. I just had to, had to turn it off. Hi, sweetie, Sam said to me lovingly. She was wearing a, her green, green, long green fluff dress, and I was wearing my Moto XXX t-shirt with Kyle Lewis's last name on the back, and it was, was 20 free. When Sam sat down next to me, we began, she began to curl up, up next to each other. Of course, that's what we started to do. Hey, Sammy, I said to her lovingly. Sam and I were both married to each other, for, but we were still in love. Sam was real excited because she got the word that she was receiving thing, our first child in a few weeks. I can't believe it. I'm expecting my first child. But do you know what's weird? Sam said to me. What is it, Sam, me darling? I asked. That we didn't have to do, even have, well, you know, you know what, we kept our clothes on alone. Sam answered. I know we learned about it. But it was still possible for a girl to get pregnant, even the guy didn't, well, you probably get the picture with a girl before and even if they before after they got married. That's what happened to the two of us, I said to her. Her. Wow. Oh, I never knew that, Sam said to me. We have been both been married for almost five years and we have already moved into our house. After I had a one big bucks on the Wheel of Fortune last month in the front lawn, there was a sprinkler that was weighing for water in the yard, and sometimes water play with each other. A garden hose washing our new car in the back yard and had small mo motocross track, track and the shed to keep my dirt bike in. A swimming pool, a diving board, two beach chairs, and a jacuzzi. The living room had a couple of sofas for each of us, and a big screen TV, digital box, and a remote. A couch made up for the two of us to sit next to each other, and a VCR and a remote. In our bathroom was a shower, toilet, sink, and a small hot tub that was only used for relaxing. And the bathtub was the two of us to relax in as well. Our kitchen stove had a stove, a refrigerator, microwave, rice cooker, sink, dishwasher, a small TV fee for the two of us to watch. We even had our own dining room table, both for the two of us to eat together. In our basement, we had a sofa, TV, video games, video game controllers, video game consoles, a computer remote, and a remote, for, remote on for half of the basement. And that was, was on one side. Sam's side was just like her bedroom. She had a mirror, makeup kit, jewelry drawers, a wardrobe, robe mirror, a computer of her own, and a small heart-shaped hot tub that Sam had ordered online after we got married and built our first house. At times she was at the relaxing table, I could ask her if I could join, and she always lets me in. Our bedroom had a huge bed where Sam and I slept to get with each other. TV and a digital bot box with two remotes, one for digital, one for TV, and the dresser drawers where we kept our sleep clothes, outside clothes, swimwear clothes, extra clothes, and right next to our bed was our balcony with two chairs. We were both were going out to sit down to watch the sunset and sunrise together. Flashback. Sam and I were walking in the park together, holding hands as we began to sit down on the bench. Hey, Sammy, I said to Sam. What is it, my sweet? Sam asked me lovingly as I began to clutch her close to me. Sweet Samantha, no matter what becomes the tween of us, will you marry me? I asked in nervousness. I took out a necklace with an emerald rolled ring and handed them to Sam. Oh, Matthew, of course I'll marry you, Sam gasped sweetly, accepting the jewelry I gave her. A month later at the Wheel of Fortune Studios in L.A., I was in the contestant and won all, but one round round in the first toss-up, I ended up winning up the speed run round after the wheel had spun and landed on the $5,000 and added an extra 1000 to make up to the $6,000, and I had won $14,300 previously, and I sped up to the puzzle and got the total of almost $45,000 after getting the three S's, two N's, two A's, two E's, and two T's. And the category I was thinking all the puzzles had were instant message, and I have it solved. Pat Justic, the host of, of Who You Don't Watch The Wheel of Fortune, came up to me and surprised and I shook his head. Wow, almost $45,000 altogether. This is unbelievable. Told from Matthew is, folks, is five fifty six three hundred thousand dollars all in cash pat announced 
Later, Pact and I were sitting at the Wheel of Prize. Wow, this might be as much as belonged to Matthew. Matthew, almost $60,000. I see three girls in the audience, Matthew. Who are they? Pat asked. The girl in the middle is my fiance, Sam, and her best friends, Clover and Alex. They're my best friends as well, I answered. It made me feel so warm-hearted to say my fiance. The girls were all standing behind the railing, railing in front of the eerie audience in the studio. I want to make them happy at this moment. Well, let's hope so. Give that wheel a spin and we'll find out what you might win or lose, Pat said. I roved up my hand and spun the wheel around and everything I had. It ended up going up and around six times until I landed on the comma spot. Alrighty, hand me a card if you please, Matt. Matthew, Pat requested. I reached in and pulled out a card and handed it to Matt and Pat, and we both, both walked to where we could get a good view of the puzzle. Alright, ready? Pat asked. I was born ready, Pat, I answered. Okay, Pat chuckled a bit. The category night is around the house. R-S-T-L-N-E. Vanna may say, hey, with some of those letters, there's, 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 the puzzle was around two words and five letters, five letters and eight letters. All that came up with was N and two E's, and they were all in second word. Okay, not much help here now, Matthew. We must need some contestants to your vowel, Pat explained. I began to guess the four letters, and Pat continued to free for the contestants. A, C, a D, and a H. Free and your vowel, Pat said. And an I, I finished. Vanna nodded and hold her head up and down. Down. Okay, Pat said. I think you're going to be liking these choices. Audience, please don't say anything. Matthew must do this on his own. Vanna began to hold up a few letters, and then she filled up the five fifth spaces with every word. They were called a C and an H, and she moved the second word that says D appeared in the first space. Two I's were in were in the fourth and sixth spaces, and a C in the fifth space. Ace. Ace. All right, the category is around the house. You have ten seconds. Good luck, Pat said. And I was able to blur out the puzzle in confidence. Medis cough medicine. Yeah, you did it! Pat said. I began to whip my arm in the air in absolute joy. Clover and Alex were jumping up and down, but Sam's hands were covering her mouth. She was so surprised that she felt like she was going to faint, even if I didn't know, even if she didn't know I, that I had one. Matthew, you want to see what you want? Pat asked. Open up the thing, Pat, I said. Pat opened up the card and showed it to me, and it was a camera that I was celebrating even more. Whoa! He won the more money. He got extra 50 grand. Matthew, this is for good luck. $50,000, the Wheel of Fortune announcer, Charlie O'Donnell announced. The girls then ran up to me and gave me open arms and we group hugged each other. They sure were, man. Come talk about big payday, Pat said in shock. Clover and Alex got into a group hug and Sam and I hugged each other and you even kissed each other. Then we did another group hug. Hug. One, 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 one hundred and six, six thousand, three hundred and three hundred thousand $300,000. That's almost like we to see. We'll be back with commercials to pay this guy. Later, Pat and Vanna were standing next to each other in their final thoughts on the game. Boy, Matthew, that was a really great player tonight, Vanna commented. He sure is, Pat said. He even won over $100,000. It made me so happy to see his fiance and her friends and his, her friends with her, her him as well, said Vanna added. You know, he told me that he watches our show particularly every day. And he says, and he says that why he always wonders why we all get all the fun, Vanna. Pat told Vanna, he's not angry, just curious. Well, basically, the host, the hosts who, who was doing all the walk and talk less, plus that our staff and takes snapshots or screenshots of us wherever we go. That's why to him, I get all the fun, Vanna explained. Well, hopefully, I get some fun like from you as well, Vanna. Pat said. Vanna and the audience briefly laughed. Well, as you can see, all tomorrow and hope that we will see another big payday. So long, Pat said, waving his hand. Bye-bye, Vanna said, waving her hand as well. And a flashback. Sammy, I said to her. What is it, my dreamland? Sam asked me while smiling lovingly at me. Well, you know that I'm really good and we're finally married to each other since that I first transferred here. Here, I am really glad that we we were in high school and college sweethearts. Plus, I'm glad I won that much on the loot wheel, I answered. Sam began to stand on her feet. She was barefoot, though, too. Me too, Matthew. Me too. Sam lent me her hand, and, she, and I took it, and she helped me on my feet. 
not really minding everything. I wasn't injured or anything. She just wanted to clutch each other our bodies close, and both of us were wrapped up in the middle of sections with our fingertips sinking into each other's backs. My fingertips were into the fabric of Sam's dress, touching her bra underneath. Matthew, may I have a kiss? Sam asked me. Absolutely, I said to her softly. Here it comes. Sam closed her eyes and began to pucker her lips, and she moved her head closer to me. I closed my eyes and puckered my lips as well. Seconds later, we were caught in the warm and loving embrace kiss. Sam opened her eyes and then laid her head on my chest. I began to ram run my hand up and down her back. Her emerald green eyes were looking up at my face. I'm so happy we got married to each other after being boyfriend and girlfriend for a re relatively long time, Sam finally said to me. I agree with you, sweetheart. I softly kissed her back. I felt my right hand going up and down her torso. I started did below, below her breasts and ran my hand at the bottom of Sam's dress and then ran it back up, constantly avoiding touching some of her sensitive areas. Sam could feel her hand moving onto one side of the fluff in the shoulder parts of her dress, but then she stopped herself. Want to go swimming together? Just the two of us? Sam asked. Sure, my beautiful, sweet, and attractive Sammy. I answered her. Sam giggled inside, but smiled to herself as we took our hands and walked up to our bedrooms. When we got there, Sam closed the door and we decided to hug each other once more before we got changed. Sam both put her fingers on the fluff parts in her dress and slowly began to peel off the dress and fluid on the bed. All she was wearing was her green bra, bra, bra and panties. Sam and I embraced again, ignoring the fact that Sam was, well, half naked, and we released the embrace again and then changed into our swimwear. I ended up getting red and green swim shorts and Sam was wearing her green bikini bathing suit with her sides showing and she bought herself some new clothes since she outgrew her old ones ones from when she was a teen. She had brought, bought some larger size clothes and larger size bathing suits. We went to the bathroom and grabbed some towels and sunscreen and then we took each other's hands and walked outside to the pool. Ready to swim, Sammy, my sweetheart? I asked. Absolutely, Matthew, sweetie, Sam answered to me. We got our sunscreen and towels and our beach chairs and we began applying some sunscreen to our bodies before we went for a swim because the sun was shining really brightly it almost a thousand a hundred degrees with no cloud in the sky all of a sudden i felt a hand touch my back i'm getting your back hun, sweetie sam's told me oh okay i can get your back too sammy darling i asked her yes absolutely after i'm done with you that is sam answered she squirted out some of the sunscreen and then applied it to my back okay okay can you get my back now sam asked me i turned myself to sam's body and looked around to allow me to get her to her back Sam then moved her pure orange hair, allowed some other parts of her body to be applied to the sunscreen. I began gently rubbing the touch of Sam's back, moving my hands across her back, with the right side of her fist touching the green fabric of Sam's bathing suit. When I was done, I gave Sam a, a pat on her shoulder and to allow her to know. Ready, Sammy? I asked as I stood up on my feet. One more frame before we jumped in, Sammy said as she was holding a scrunchie in her hand and then tying it back, her hair back into a ponytail. Her hand was holding a section of the long black of her back of her long hair, and the other hand hand had the scrunchie in her hand. Sam put the scrunchie in her hair and let it go, and then stood up to me. Now I'm ready, Matthew, Sam said to me. We held each other's hands again and then walked up to the diving board. It was wide enough to have two people to stand on. We both looked down in the water and then looked at each other and smiled at each other. We even nodded our heads up and down to each other. Ready? I asked Sam. Yeah. Sam peer purred at me. We then took a look at the water and then jumped off of the diving board together and then landed with a couple of big splashes on the pool. We swam to the surface and then looked at each other and smiled. Our entire, entire bodies except for our heads were submerged underwater. We leaned our heads closer and with much as we kissed each other. I love you, you darling, I said to Sam. I love you too, sweetheart, Sam said to me. She began to take my hand and we began to swim underwater holding hands. We poked our heads out of the water and began to look at each other again. Sam and I both climbed out of the pool and sat ne next to each other with only our legs in the pool. We began to move our hands around our waists and lean our hands heads against close to each other on the solo sides of our heads gently touch one another. I'm going to go grab us some drinks, Sam said as she stood up. Can you give me a Coke, Sammy? I requested. Sure, Sam said to me. She stood up on her feet and I be and bent down to kiss me on the cheek. Sam walked walked beneath her beach behind to her beach chair and wrapped a towel around her waist and mo moist body and her towel was wrapped around her waist covering the bottom half part of her bathing suit before sam could open the door to get inside she looked back at me and smiled sam then smiled and blew a kiss kissed me 
she kissed her fingers and then blew a, them on my to my cheek. I did the same thing and returned to Sam. She opened up the door and went inside the kitchen to get some drinks. God, she is beautiful, I said to myself. Most of the time, I feel like I've married the right girl. Suddenly, I heard the scream away from the kitchen, and I ran inside the house to get Sam.